I'm Aaron Hamilton. I've been doing makeup for about four years now and I'm self-taught. I got into makeup by going to the 2012 Mask Fest in Indianapolis, Indiana. Just seeing like all the masks and stuff that they had there was just really incredible and just seeing how uh, talented the different artists were and um, just like the different techniques they used to make the masks and uh, different monsters. So I just kind of got a bottle of uh, fake blood and some latex at Mask Fest, and I just started going. And I used like some paints that my dad had and just kind of created like a really uh, crappy burn on my hand. And then I just started watching YouTube tutorials and looking at anatomy books, seeing what it would be like if I tried different things and adding different elements to make it look more realistic. At first it was just to freak people out because I love getting reactions from people. By doing that, I just kind of found my love in it. I just kept freaking more and more people out and now it's just kind of become a uh, staple in my life. And so far it's uh, worked out for me pretty well. So I just recently got done doing a history of horror makeup. I went through 31 different horror movies and posted one each day on Instagram and Facebook. I started with Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and ended with The Conjuring 2. What inspired me to do the history of horror, I'm a really big fan of the angry video game nerd. I really look up to him and I'm inspired by him because he showed me a lot of horror films that I've never even heard of. He, back in 2007, uh, did his own history of horror where he went through and did a video review of each horror film. I kind of wanted to emulate that in a way, but I also wanted to do a makeup. And I did it just to raise awareness of horror films, as weird as that sounds. I hear a lot of people saying that the horror genre is just like the worst because it's just senseless violence. But I wanted to show people that horror films have been really innovative with the technology. And if you kind of think about it, horror films have kind of pushed the film industry further and further. Um, just with like sets and monsters and uh, a lot of the films that we have today have taken elements from these old horror films such as uh, the Universals with Dracula, Frankenstein and uh, even if you go back further with Cabinet and Dr. Caligari and Nosferatu and even the Gollum, uh, you could see a lot of the influences now that we have today. I just wanted to show people that horror films aren't just all blood and guts, they actually have some pretty good substance to it.